Good evening, everyone. Joe for Jaspies CaseBreaks.com with 2018 Panini Donner's Optic Football 12 box. Pick your team number eight from Jaspies CaseBreaks.com. Big thanks to all these folks for getting into the action right here. 12 box, pick your team eight. Donner's Optic Football. Jimmy Brent with the Bengals as last spot mojo. There's everyone else. Thanks for getting in. Appreciate it. All right, there you go. Good luck, everyone. This is our last pick your team case. I don't know if we're getting any more after this. We do have one more. We do have one more case left for half case random teams. So check that out as well. Right. Good luck, everyone. Schedule for tonight is in the chat if you're watching live. So check that out. This break will take about an hour. We'll try to hustle through this as quickly as possible because we have two more breaks filled up after this. So check out the schedule in the chat. Good luck to everybody. We have. Do we, we've got Obsidian Football on the website too. We just knocked out the mixer. I'm sure we'll find something, some other stuff to post. Um, we'll be a little light on new releases this week, ladies and gentlemen. But next week should be pretty fun. The week after that, I think Contenders Football is dropping next Friday. But in the meantime, I think we've got plenty of. Um, let's see, we've got plenty of. Plenty of breaks on jazbeescasebreaks.com. Plenty to keep us busy throughout the week. Greg E says, can you put aside a Cleo Mac Common for you? Who is that? I don't know who that is, Greg. Why do you, why do you want some scrub? Two ninety nine. there's more. Why would you want some scrub? Common. It's curious. There's Trey Quinn. Raiders didn't need him. Raiders are like, eh, get out of here. Khalil Mack, you'll never become anything. There's Tom Brady. So he said, screw it. We'll just we'll just trade him to uh we'll trade him to the Bears and steal a first round pick from them. There's Ito Smith. That'll be randomized to somebody. There's Christian Kirk to 149. And we'll sleeve and top load all of these before they go out, of course. Carson Wentz to 199. Christian McCaffrey to 99. Remember, we got rid of this guy, too. Don't need him. These all will be sleeve and top loaded before they go out, whoever that guy is. Is Derrick Henry out of 299? I don't know why you want that card, Greg, but. All right, so Greg, with the with the one per case, can I have a common? Done. Bradley Chubb is your autograph. Rated rookie autographs. Hello. That goes to Steve Freeze and the Denver Broncos. I'm got an orange pen, Broncos colors right here. Little Oppo Joe Mojo for Steve as well. Now Cleo Mack did want to stay, but Raiders didn't want to pay him.
All right. Patrick doesn't get the joke. Yeah, that is a nice chub. Bradley chub, that is. You're welcome, Steve. All right. Next one. Good luck, boys and girls. Next box, next autograph. Rich Schmidt is uh, thinking that there's going to be some more chubs in these boxes. Could be some other chubs. Maybe a Nick chub. Another Bradley chub. But... Uh, Always a chance at, at big chubs popping out, Rich. Popping out of any of these boxes. Yeah, Steve Freeze wouldn't mind seeing more chubs. Bradley chubs, that is. Not Nick chubs. Nick chubs will go to the Cleveland Browns. Could be those chubs in there too, Eric Bailey. A lot of chubs. All right, next box. Good luck, everyone. We've got more Broncos. How about Royce Freeman? Another one for Steve Freeze. He's heating up. That's uh, 65 out of 99 on that one, Steve. More Oppo Joe Mojo. James Washington out of 50. Downtown Aaron Rodgers. I think this is the first Aaron Rodgers we've seen downtown wise. And we've got Boston Scott to 199 for the Saints. Philip Rivers to 299 for the Los Angeles Chargers. Uh, Kevin Smith has the Green Bay Packers. Ezekiel Elliott to 149. I think these downtown cards still have, still carry plenty of strong secondary market value, especially for the bigger names, especially the big name rookies, too. Uh, that's what downtown Green Bay, Wisconsin looks like. We've just got gigantic badgers there. <laughs> Look at that. That's the size of Aaron Rodgers. That badger? That's terrifying. I'm not going to visit Green Bay anytime soon if that's what they have over there. Where's Sanford? He's from uh, Card Blasters is from, is from Green Bay. He's got to tell us all about those gigantic badgers that are out there. We got Mike Kosicki to 299. Everything's made of cheese out there, says Rich, out of 299. And, and they apparently still, still, uh, apparently they still have, uh, send you bottles of milk. Is that a thing? Is that still a thing? You guys remember when milk had to be delivered to, to your door? Like a milk guy. All right, next box. Jason Cox wants to fill that Bowman draft baseball. I do too. Only four teams left. That's another hour long break, but by the time we get this done and a couple other breaks done, we will still have plenty of time an hour and a half. We'll have plenty of time to do that break. If we fill it by, uh, by the end of the next the the second break, the two breaks after this, so if we fill it up by that time, we'll be able to do it. 
So get it in there, folks. Make that happen. JaspiesCaseBreaks.com. We've got half case random team breaks of this Donner's Optic Football as well, ladies and gentlemen. That's from our last case, so please check that out as well. Rich, Rich Schmidt says, I'm a milkman. Are you a milkman? Driving around town in the old milk truck with milk cartons, delivering bottles and picking up empty ones, picking up empties. Did they just wash those and reuse them? I would imagine. I wonder how many places in the United States still still have like milk milk men or women running around town delivering delivering the milk. Are there places that still do this? Some small town with a with a great dairy da dairy 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 a dairy factory. <laughs> and Traquan Smith. There's the auto right there. Timothy F. with the Saints. It's 12 out of 75 on that one. Nice. There's our auto. So, did you guys see Riley Ridley? His brother. I wonder where he's going to get drafted. There's Auden Tate. At a 99 for the Bengals. Alex Collins, Ravens to 299. Dion Lewis for the Titans out of 99. All these will be uh, sleeved and top loaded before they go out, of course. But just in the interest of time, we're kind of breezing through those. Got a couple breaks backed up. Eric Bailey says, Traquan Smith, fantasy killer. He's like, two weeks in a row, zero catches. I, that kind of reminds me of Anthony Miller. I had him for a couple of weeks. Nearly cost me a win in my league. Cards there. Mark Andrews, Ravens to 299. This guy. And there you go. Another box in the books. Next one, next box. Well, let's talk about it, folks. The wild card weekend is coming up. The Colts are at the Texans. That's the early game on Saturday. Who does everyone have? Let's, let's hear your opinions. Who does, who does everyone have to just straight up win the game and why? Even if it's an early pick, I mean, you can change your mind, you know, later on. But as of right now, who do you have? I think that's the RPA right there. Nice. Dennis says Colts. DNIB 1985 says Colts. C. Free says Colts. Greg says Texans, only because they're at home. EA also says Texans, so we're kind of split here.
Matthew Bodner saying to Sean Watson that Texas, the Texans D at home and win, winning in a squeaker. Tyler Conklin to 199. Hey, King D, Happy New Year, man. Leonard Williams to 199. King D in Houston saying Texans, of course. Gary Gordon suggesting that home field doesn't matter as much as it used to. TJ says Colts. It's got to matter a little bit, though, right? Now, King D, who is a Texans fan, he says he didn't want the Colts, but he's obviously hoping for, he's pulling for his team, Texans. I think I'm leaning Colts as well. For, for you Colts people, there's Tanner Lee. I think, you know, I think that I think the head coach is a little bit better. They've got the head coach edge, coaching edge. They got the end. They got the quarterback edge, and those are the one of the two key factors, you know, in playoff success. Is that a two ninety nine right here? Where's the um? There's downtown Anthony Miller. And I'm not sure what, what the... Was that a, is that a super chat? Someone send me money? I think so. You don't have to send me money, Skull. I'm just buy into the bricks. All right, that downtown Anthony Miller goes to Greg. You're welcome, Greg. And the hit is, it's another Trey Quan Smith. Nice, that's a nice patch in there and a nice autograph for the Saints, Timothy F. and the Saints. 13 out of 15. But yeah, Andrew Luck, better quarterback. I think better head coaching. There's edge there. Colts defense underrated. I like that. Well, who's that one line? But Darius Leonard. Am I? Is that the guy? I don't know. They're, 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 they've got some good defense there. T. Y. Hilton's healthy. That's gonna that's gonna be a big time help. It is gonna be close. Now, that's what Vegas thinks too. I think Texans only minus two and a half, minus three maybe. So they're suggesting it's close. If you go by the, if you go by the home team, if you go by the home team, um, getting your standard minus three points or whatever. So that'll be interesting. Seattle at Dallas. What does everyone think there? Seahawks going to Dallas. I like Seahawks at home. That's where there's a true home field advantage in Seattle. Seattle, I think Kansas City, Green Bay, those are only, Chicago maybe, those are only the few places where New England, the home field matters. But on the road, Dennis saying Seattle, King D saying Seattle, C. Free saying Seattle. Now I guess I have to think, what about the key guys on the Dallas defense? TJ saying Seattle, EA saying Seattle, Sean Lee, Leighton Vanderish, are those guys healthy? I think that makes a big difference. I'm leaning Seattle as well. I, I just. I'm not confident about the Seahawks. I gun to my head, I'd say Seattle, but I think Dallas does play better at home. Yeah, John. I, that's what I'm saying, John Raposo. Dallas is tough at home. Yeah, for some reason, at home, they play they play a lot better. But Q 
QB edge, Russell Wilson, right? Coaching edge, Pete Carroll over Jason Garrett. There's Greg Olson. And right, Dallas, Dallas plays well at home, and, you know, the Seahawks aren't, you know, as good on the road. So that'll be interesting. There's Alex Smith out of 99. There's Jordan Thomas to 199. And down to another Chubb. Bradley Chubb. From downtown. Bradley Chubb. Folks, if you're wondering, if you've never been to uh, to Denver, this is exactly what it looks like. Denver people confirm. Right? They got mountain goats. This this is this is downtown Denver. Mountain goats, there's, I forgot what what the horse is called, but he's roaming around there in the woods. You know, there's there's a, there's a what appears to be a grizzly bear in the background. Right there, that's what it looks like, ladies and gentlemen. That's downtown Denver. That goes to Steve Freeze. And there's, yeah, there's probably a, if you look closely, there's a hidden, there's a hidden pot leaf in there. There's Dak Prescott to 199. And there's our autograph, Richie James for the Niners. That'll go to Vic and the Niners. Yeah, all, all the legal weed, Eric Bailey, is hiding behind the picture of Bradley Chubb. Justin Jackson to 299. All right, we are almost halfway through this break, ladies and gentlemen. All right, so that's a brief discussion about Saturday's game. What does everyone think about about Sunday's games? Chargers at Baltimore. Chargers have a good team, but a West Coast team playing an early game, an early Sunday game on the East Coast. That Baltimore defense, Lamar Jackson playing a lot better. Or do or does Lamar Jackson finally get exposed? Chargers do have Derwin James back there. They're going to have to throw at some point. Dennis says Chargers. Steve Free says Baltimore, the Ravens. King D says Chargers. EA says Ravens. Dennis saying better QB, better running back, better receivers for the Chargers. But C Free saying defense trumps offense in the playoffs. And Lamar Jackson would just have to do just enough. Well, that's the tough part, John Raposo. I agree. John R. is saying, hey, I honestly think all four games could go either way, which could – I think it's going to be great. I think that, yeah, I think playoffs are going to be fantastic. So so that's, that's one thing. Better than some of the bowl games that we've seen in college. All right. Next box. What do we got here? Got some green. Green Royce Freeman. Two out of five. What a break for the Broncos. Some Oppo Joe Mojo. There you go. Steve Freeze with the Broncos. And, and an all aboard the Big Hit Express. Woo woo. There you go, Steve. You're welcome, man. Marlon Mack could have a big influence in the playoffs. There's Big Ben missing the playoffs. 
Trubisky, how hit will he do? There's Josh Allen, nice. Rated rookie auto, Josh Allen for the Bills. Gary Gordon and Buffalo. Like the slot machine. Buffalo. Nice Josh Allen. Marshawn Lynch out of 199. Ronald Jones is second out of 299. Vita Vea. Leighton Van Der Esch to 199. Next box, halfway through the break, ladies and gentlemen. Now there's a schedule in the chat right there. I think we're still we're, we're still on target here. So Revolution Hoops will happen after this, around that time in the chat if you're watching live. Uh, straight after that would be and then Dynasty sold out after that. So Dynasty will go off there, which should be a fun break. And then after that, around 9.30 Pacific, maybe a little bit before, maybe a little bit after, give or take, but around 9.30 Pacific, we will have you know, at least another hour and a half for another break. Nothing's filled up yet, but we can close out with, Rory suggesting we close out with Bowman Draft. All right, so that, that would pretty much bring us right near the end of the broadcast. But yeah, Chargers at Ravens, that's an interesting thing. Some of the guys in the chat are talking about about how that's kind of brutal for the West Coast team to get to, to have to go to Baltimore, but I mean... I think I kind of agree with Steve here. It, it sort of, that's how it kind of shook, shakes out. Ooh, a little bit of gold peeking out of there, ladies and gentlemen. That's kind of how it shakes out, you know, which is unfortunate. I mean, if Chiefs lost one less game, they won one more game, they'd have a bye. So there's that. Goal is saying your Vikings are out. I know it's a, it was a weird season for the Vikings. I feel like it started weird. I feel like it continued to be weird. But I feel like the Vikings are a great are a great uh, bounce back candidate for next season, right? I mean, I know I know a lot of Vikings fans are down about Kirk Cousins, but still got some good receivers, good running game, maybe some. Fresh look with coaching. Your defense is strong. That could be enough. There's Jester out of 199. Ben Roethlisberger to 199. We're going to find out in just a second what that is, Steve. Rory, there's about to be a train whistle right here. Are you not entertained? Talking about strong football matchups? Talking about Devontae Booker? Four out of ten? Are you not entertained? There's Jalen Samuels autographs for the Steelers? And Eric Bailey? Ninety nine, 
Rory, what about the what about the time I forgot about Eric Bailey's Patriots order? Because it never showed up in our email. There was that. That was there was some drama there in this break. Or you should, or you should have just purchased. You should have bought spots in this brig. Then you wouldn't be so bored. Doug Baldwin, Cam Newton, and it's gonna be, oh, uh, Roar! What a Grinch! Rory's like it's gonna be a boring O line or a D line player. What about downtown Antonio Brown? Are you not entertained, Rory? Man, tough crowd. That goes to Eric Bailey and the Steelers. One of one, downtown Antonio Brown. <laughs> Eric Bailey, all aboard. Whoop, whoop. There it is. There you go, ladies and gentlemen. There you go. He wants a trade? He can, I can, Raiders have first round picks for him. <laughs> Rory says the next case, next case means just as good, Rory, if not better. We only have one case left, folks. Random teams. Random team breaks. Half case random teams. Get at it. Our last case of Donner's Optic Football. Does Antonio? Yeah, someone else. I was maybe it was Eric Bailey. Someone mentioned that earlier that Antonio Brown wants to get traded. Is he demanding a trade? Blaster Barnes saying Raiders should trade Khalil Mack. We can. We can trade first round picks to the Steelers. That's kind of like Khalil Mack. I'll take Antonio Brown, and we'll sign Le'Veon Bell. Boom. Raiders, Super Bowl, 2019. Lock it in, folks. Rory thinks that Antonio is going to go to the Jets with Le'Veon Bell and Mike McCarthy. Are they really going to pick up Mike McCarthy? I don't know. Maybe they should just blow up that Steelers team. Move everybody. Big Ben might retire. Just, I don't know. I like Mike Tomlin, but maybe, maybe he just needs a different voice in the locker room. No Le'Veon Bell. Get rid just, just blow it up. Mark Walton, out of 199. Downtown Sam Darnold, nice. That goes to the Jets, 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 Kevin Smith. Jets looking for a new coach. I mean, he still could, Rory. And Rory's like, I thought Tom was getting canned, not gonna lie. Still could, right? More Antonio Brown. 14 out of 25 for Eric Bailey. Eric, you could, with that one of one, you can start an Antonio Brown rainbow. That'd be kind of cool. And Jay saying, nah, Steelers don't fire head coaches. First time for everything. <laughs> Richie James, out of 50. OJ Howard, out of 299. Philip Rivers, to 149. Doris Fountain of Youth, to 99. Autograph in the corner right there for the Colts. That is going to go to. Steve Freeze in the Colts. There you go, Steve.
DJ Moore to 299. All right, next one. Almost there, folks. Almost there. Well, the last game we haven't talked about yet, uh, Philadelphia at Chicago. Who does everyone have there? Will Nick Foles be able to turn, turn on some magic? Again? Or is that Chicago defense too much? In Chicago especially. I gotta think that I think I gotta think that the Bears defense is too much, right? Dennis says Bears, Rory says Bears. EA says Bears. Allen says Philly. C Free says Bears. Taylor says Philly by five. Jay saying Chicago all day. Greg says Bears. Blaster Barn has Bears by four, 21-17. So you're saying they're not going to cover? Bears by 14, says Greg. John saying Bears D is scary. Philadelphia's defense has been proving a little bit too over the last few weeks. I think, I think that's actually more of why they've been a little successful over the last couple of weeks rather than just Foles' magic. Although Nick Foles does connect with Alshon Jeffrey better than Wentz has. I gotta lean, I gotta lean Bears. Yeah, Taylor saying Eagles D definitely showing him. Now, I gotta think Bears, but maybe, maybe there's a little, if you're, for entertainment purposes, only wagering on this game. Perhaps Bears plus the points, or Philadelphia plus the points, could be an interesting play. We'll have to see how the week plays out, injury reports and whatnot. Bilal Powell to one for one ninety nine. So hey, Kings Elite is here. <laughs> That's Jason Jasmine. What's going on, Jason? Eagles made play. So Jason is saying Eagles made playoffs with Jim Schwartz having to use 35 different players on defense, 25 starters, 10 different cornerbacks. But the defense is improving, though, right, Jason? Happy New Year. I think there's a little value in in, in the Eagles plus the points. I don't, we'll have to see. I also heard some curious uh, some curious Twitter rumors. Like Twitter rumors are always true, as everybody knows. Twitter conspiracy theories that Nick Foles' ribs aren't actually hurt. That they actually pulled him for a little bit so the Bears won't wouldn't let up and beat the Minnesota Vikings so they can get into the playoffs. There's Mike Kosicki. 17 out of 75. Nice rated rookie autograph there. Dolphins, that'll go to John Prine on the board. But was it was it fake injury, Taylor? Making sure that that the Bears keep their foot on the gas? Something like that? I don't know. Yeah, Mike Bobby was mentioning earlier that that the bear that the Patriots will probably sneak into the Super Bowl somehow. I feel like I feel like the Patriots do do stuff like that, right? Oh yeah, Jason, congrats on that too.
All right. Three boxes to go, ladies and gentlemen. Alan Murdoch suggesting that the Patriots need one last something gate before Brady leaves. What would it be? Wow, there's Rich saying he's putting it, his, his rep on the line. Rich may saying, okay, I said it. Tom Brady wins another Super Bowl. I mean, isn't that crazy how that's a, that could be a possibility? You know, they got to beat what? They got to beat either the Ravens, Chargers, or Colts, or Texans. I don't know how the bracket works, but there's some beatable, those are some beatable teams there. Let's say if Kansas City beats the other team, KC, New England, Kansas City defense could be picked apart by Belichick in a playoff scenario. All of a sudden, next thing you know, boom, the <laughs> Patriots are in the Super Bowl. Again, that would be that would be crazy. All right, next up. Cameron Wake to 199. Bo Scarborough to 199. And another Chubb. Rich Schmidt was right when he said there'll probably be more Chubbs in this break, and there is. Nick Chubb this time for Daniel Patera and the Browns. Uh, I didn't. I did not. John Samuelson. He checked in a little bit earlier today. <laughs> He's like, man, I was wrong. <laughs> no. Uh, if I did make a play in that game, I think I would have taken the other side plus the points. There's just too many points. Devonte Adams to 199. Deshaun Watson to 149. Wait, I know that guy too. Steve Freeze and Rory. What's his name again? <laughs> There's Braxton Berrios to 25 for the Patriots. Chubbs for everyone. Eric Bailey. Josh Rosen out of 199. The Chosen Rosen. Remember his, do, you, do you know his first name, Lori? I feel like he's purchased into some of our breaks before. All right, two boxes to go, ladies and gentlemen. Is it Brian? Oh, no, I forget. That username sounds familiar, though, in a Jaspie context. Anyhow. If the Patriots end up in the Super Bowl again, the, the pathway could be there, though. But Kansas City is going to be going to be tough. Like Andy Reid off a bye, he's pretty strong, so he'll be prepared. Let's see what Mahomes can do. That defense is suspect. Rams also haven't been haven't been as 
impressive as I think. I mean, their win-loss record obviously impressive, but they haven't been putting away teams as much as people thought they would. But healthy Todd Gurley, all that stuff could definitely could definitely help. Obviously the Patriots, and then the Saints could be dangerous. Some extra motivation trying to get a, uh, a Super Bowl ring on Drew Brees' fingers before, as he's entering the sunset of his career. No, yeah, that's fine, Steve. I just needed this first hand. Um, second to last box. Good luck, boys and girls. Out of 149, R to the Izzo. Demarius Thomas. Out of 299, Mahomes got the 50 touchdowns. Robbie Anderson, out of 99, kept him on my bench in a week 16 playoff. Somehow managed to still win. Got lucky. I'm sure, John, there'll be another crazy prediction from someone next year. There always is, every year. Kalen Balaj to 249. Lights Camara action to 199 for the Saints. And for the Purple Birds, Jordan Lasley. It's a kind of a nice auto. Uh, Joe Hauer on the board with his Ravens. What a turnaround for them once Lamar Jackson got into the action. 42 out of 75. No, it was a bold prediction. I mean, 50 TDs. It just doesn't happen very often. But he was on the right track. <laughs> it was a bold prediction. Um... Patrick Mahomes, ladies and gentlemen, is that your is that your MVP? Or is it Drew Brees? You gotta think it'd be Patrick Mahomes, right? Hitting those milestone numbers. Rory saying gotta be my homies. I don't remember prime time. Does anyone remember? It's got to be Mahomes. John Sanderson says Mahomes. John Prine says Drew Brees. EA says Drew Brees. Eric Bailey says Mahomes. So does Steve Freeze. I feel like that, that's, the, that's the weird thing. Sometimes the award could be a legacy award. You know what I mean? So they may just, they may just give it to Drew Brees as sort of a lifetime achievement award. But it's hard to ignore. It's hard to ignore Mahomes. Right, it's technically a rookie season for him. First full season, and it's in, he's got like milestone numbers, like like five thousand yards. I think he has five thousand yards, right? At least and fifty touchdowns. Those are some pretty good milestone numbers, and. And milestone numbers often help. Like, I think if you think baseball, remember the year Miguel Cabrera when Miggy won the Triple Crown? And so he won the MVP. Although if you look back on the numbers, if you look at like wins above replacement war, Mike Trout had a superior season. Just not a Triple Crown. So sometimes those milestone numbers can sway the... Uh, Way the voters. All right. Yeah, Rory's giving us a 5,100 yards, 50 passing touchdowns, and 53 total touchdowns. That's just crazy for Patrick Mahomes. All right, last box. Michael Gallup to 99. See, Rory, we're almost done. It wasn't that bad. Michael Gallup. Let's see what our last autograph is going to be. There's Mike Evans. LaShawn McCoy to 149. 
painful says Rory. There's Jordan Ladd. Rory would have just ditched us if he really thought it was boring. Rory likes. Rory actually likes us. There's Antonio Callaway to 299. And there's Trey Quinn. That's our last autograph. That goes to uh, Jerome and the Redskins. I know you do, Rory. Out of 75. And that is that, ladies and gentlemen. Well, thanks for hanging. Thanks for watching. There's Vic Beasley Jr. to 25. And let's we got to randomize that fan of the game. Chloe Kim didn't is not a fan, just a fan of the game, not of any particular team. Well, she's not like a Rams fan or anything like that. All right, so let's get everyone's names here. And. Uh, three and a five, eight times. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eighth and final time. Mark Livingston, you'll get that uh, Chloe Kim card. She won a gold medal snowboarding or something like that for us. Nice. There you go. There you have it, ladies and gentlemen. Joe for jazbeescasebreaks.com. We'll see you next time for the next break. Bye-bye.